welcome back friends this is rohit devangan today i'll be presenting you rounding bottom chart pattern and this will be our one of the uh, uh, one of the uh, presentations in the series of chart patterns that we are doing over last few weeks right so what is rounding bottom let's get in there how do we screen it and what this pattern and psychology or the structure of this pattern is like any other chart pattern the chart patterns is created uh, or a certain structure in the chart is created based on various different forces like demand supply uh, money availability and lot of other things right news and other things based on all these things certain structures are created the idea is when certain structures are created there there's lot of study which is being done that after certain structure is created there's a possibility of stock moving in a certain direction and these patterns will help you to or understanding these patterns will help you to do a better trade right so we have quite a few chart patterns out here triangle uh, double top bottom flag cup, uh, pennant cup and handle in tsr for those who are familiar they would know for those who are not familiar will get an opportunity by looking at these patterns uh, to explore more in this uh, series right so a rounding bottom is typically a reversal pattern so we have quite a few reversal patterns here uh, double top bottom triple top head and shoulder morning star right there are many it was a right many 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 uh, different patterns available here uh, Allen reversal being one of them, and V pattern is something which we'll be launching this week, right? Uh, then we have quite a few continuation pattern, uh, triangle, pennant, flag, hammer, and many more continuation patterns are available in this series, right? Why I'm bringing both these patterns is typically rounding bottom pattern falls under reversal pattern, but however, I believe that it is also part of somewhat continuation pattern. How we'll understand, and also this particular pattern gives us an opportunity to understand the money flow, smart money flow, uh, smart money, weak money, how this is uh, being done. Uh, though not a lot of literature is there, but based on, on my understanding, I feel that th this would be a classic example of uh, smart and money flow. So rounding bottom is a reversal and a continuation pattern, and can give you an idea about uh, smart money flow. Right? Let's understand from an example. Uh, rounding bottom pattern is bullish reversal. So when you see that this pattern, the best formation of this pattern is in a downtrend. And the stock gradually goes down in such a way that it doesn't show a lot of uh, uh, impulse in any direction, right? It does not give you a big movement. It gradually goes down, 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 down to a level, and from there it gradually goes up, right? Now, once it crosses this level, then it is the the uh, the rounding bottom is completed, and it it once this breakout is given, then it goes up, right? From that perspective, it is a reversal pattern. From the other perspective of uh, slash, uh, uh, basically some sort of consolidation over this place, there's some sort of consolidation which happens. There's a small breakout out here, which gives you a breakout from the consolidation, which you can pick it much early. Or also there's sort of a continuation pattern from from this place. It's a small continuation which goes up, so it can be an ascending triangle or a higher high higher lows. And then eventually it goes up. So within this pattern, there's multiple things. Now where smart money, weak money comes is when it is formed from, let's say it's falling from this level, right? So a lot of retail investors get frustrated that there's not much to be and they try to exit and gradually they exit, exit, exit because there's not much of uh, interest and enthusiasm, not too much of news coming in, positive news in fact coming out here, right? Which will take the market higher. It goes down here. From this level, sometimes what uh, the weak money does is they sell at, at, at fair value or below fair value. And uh, at this point of time, right, a lot, lot of smart money or institutions who have better access to news or access to their research, they'll start getting in at, at a very, very, uh, this thing, uh, uh, reasonable price or below fair value. And they start doing cherry picking and they gradually take the price up without letting a lot of people know that what's happening in, in the structure, right? And gradually it goes up and finally it breaks. Once it breaks up, again the weak money comes in because they enter at a much later stage, right? But uh, theoretically, right point of entering is here. This is where, unless you have very good idea about things, you understand the risk is higher, you enter here and you can take it up there. So, first of all, it is a reversal pattern. Then it is it is basically higher high higher lows over this level and the, the, the weak money is going off and smart money is coming in and eventually it will give breakout and it can go up. Like likewise always happens is this is the right time to get in there theoretically. It will go up and it will again eventually go into a over overbought level again. The there'll be a lot of weak money coming in, smart money coming out. So just thought of mentioning smart money, weak money here. We have a separate video on price action, which you may want to see 
if you want to understand more on smart money and weak money right coming back to pattern so this becomes basic concepts of this pattern like what what we do is we tell you the concepts and also we'll bring the screener so that you don't have to go chart by chart or you're not dependent on somebody else to find these patterns for you 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 can be your own boss or your own fund manager so coming back to top stock research on left hand side you go to chart pattern there are quite a uh, few different categories of chart patterns what we'll go in is uh, popular chart patterns over here you'll see rounding bottom pattern uh, you can screen this on any of the uh, time frame that is available out here so let's go to eod uh, because a daily is the most uh, logical and most used uh, time frame uh, but you feel free to use the smaller time frame so when you go here you look at quite a few patterns out here like for example bajaj auto a small rounding bottom right uh, this is again a small rounding bot bottom uh, so depending on on the, uh, the, these patterns right there are a lot of things there uh, which you can do uh, again another rounding bottom uh, this is on a slightly bigger scale so understand the psychology from here it is gradually coming down not a very steep turn uh, there are a lot of uh, small demand supply demand supply zone if you look at uh, maybe candle you will see some of the other interesting things which are happening right a lot of demand supply a lot of v pattern is getting formed here a lot of these patterns are getting here at this level or let's look at uh, again line chart at this level it is bouncing back with good volume so and also two things to note out here like this being a uh, almost bouncing at the same level where it has bounced before so sort of double bottom is out also out there and then when it is bouncing it is bouncing with a decent volume so smart money is coming here somehow so smart money is coming out here and taking the stock higher and then each one of these levels will act as a support resistance previous support and resistance and will take out here once it crosses this level when, when you see out here in little more details this would be uh this would be a typical uh uh, supply area so uh, area of congestion uh, if you see out here there was this area of congestion once this level is broken then it's likely to give you a very good move out here uh, on this thing so that can go take you into uncharted territory or a much higher level and this is where uh, if if you spot this well you get into this thing it will take you higher and again nearly around this point again there's some sort of resistance almost falling at the same a zone of uh, consolidation or zone of uncertainty if you may uh, and once such level is broken so it was trying to break this it couldn't break because of uh, from the zone of uncertainty came down double bottom is formed which means that still strength, some strength is there again in that zone of uncertainty when certain zones are broken it's likely to give very good move right so looking chart in isolation order any pattern in isolation will give you good results but may lead to lot of false things understanding the psychology of this thing uh, with all those previous levels like is, is this level is almost like uh, uh, if you see it has bounced from almost same level where it has breached there uh, uh, so basically what we say is the resistance becomes support so this is acting as a support even at a longer term and it is getting formed uh so if you are purely on these things uh, uh basically support resistance and you see that this is the level where it is bouncing so you can be an early entrant of this thing uh, of this pattern uh, based on this it's bouncing with decent volume so let's look at candle out here so when you look at the candle it is bouncing with a very good momentum out here that means it was waiting to uh, uh, be bouncing so there's a lot of demand around this level so which can also help you to understand that then there's again zone of uncertainty which is getting formed so that can be acting as a good stop loss out here uh then again uh, as i said uh, that this is a very good uh, zone of uncertainty or consolidation if such level is broken then it's it's likely to give you very good movement right so our idea here is to help you find uh, basically various different rounding bottom uh various different rounding bottom uh maybe we go into something bigger and again try to see if this some patterns which is getting formed on a bigger time frame right like this is getting formed again it is coming back at the previous level so it's trying to go down steeply from this level but there's some sort of support and again it's gradually going up so no very strong downward momentum out here uh look let's look at slightly bigger one a uh, bigger rounding bottom is getting formed it this level is breached out here and it's likely to go up and th this this since it's uh, uh since this is uh, uh, retracing from a big level uh, if such levels are breached the immediate resistance level is this one if such levels are breached when we see out here uh 
then it's likely to give you again good moment. So this will help you to not only find uh, this thing, but if you look at the bigger picture, uh, there's a lot of interesting things which is always happening in stocks, right? Uh, this is again relatively longer term period. Is from typical rounding bottom. This rounding bottom is already breached, and this time it's breaching with a good volume. So this is pretty ripe uh, theoretically. Uh, real world will only time will tell how it has uh, fared in real uh, real world this is again a nice rounding bottom forming over a long period of time when you look at some of the other things uh, you see that uh, it it is it is uh, at uh, a much longer time frame uh, support resistance so this is a zone of uh, basically high demand from where it is retracing and it's taking you to a higher level okay uh, likewise, you can screen on other time frame. Maybe if you are on a, a smaller time frame, like a 30 minutes, there are plenty of stocks which will be getting formed on 30 minutes period. Uh, then you see another rounding bottom. Uh, when when you when you take the stock to a, a smaller period, this is where and maybe right. So this looks much better rounding bottom out here. Right. Uh, look at this again a nice rounding bottom so or also also if you are familiar with v patterns almost like a v shape recovery is coming out here uh, again um, almost at that resistance level if such these levels are broken it's likely to take you higher right so understand what rounding bo bottom is help uh, get help from these kind of screeners uh, and then get in there you can be an early entrant out here. So out here, uh, of course, there's, there's no way you'll know that rounding bottom is getting formed out here. But there's a lot of structure which is getting getting here, a sort of a reverse head and shoulder, small reverse head and shoulder at bottom. So which should give you better confidence. So if you can spot like in the previous example, uh, not here, I think that was on daily time frame, right? Uh, that was on daily time frame, maybe out here, uh, not a great example. Uh, out here it's falling again getting support so a uh, possibility of rounding bottom is forming is pretty much here there's a double bottom uh, over here get in there and then once such levels are breached so first if you are based on this thing uh, a double bottom you can get here uh, then the second level is this level this level is breached the third level is the previous highs so you can keep on using trailing stop loss get in early take best advantage of it understand the structure if you feel that uh, you need little more work you can always go back in the history to see uh, the previous rounding bottom how it has fared in uh, in past uh, that it should give you better confidence on these patterns right very popular set of patterns and very very good structure uh, pattern uh, this is so take best use of it uh, likewise we have a, a rounding top also so uh, quick search rounding top it's just opposite of it uh, when you go and look at this, this is rounding top. That means all the steam uh, is uh, off and it's likely to breach that previous levels. And then uh, this structure looks pretty good. Uh, it has gone in, it has gone up, 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 and then finally breached that level. So likely to go down. So this looks like much better structure uh, if the market and other forces are there. This is again, it is trying to breach. Uh, try to make new highs new highs new highs new highs and then couldn't sustain and it's falling badly right this fall is pretty steep so which means that uh, some uh, this is generally and with very high volume so generally such a thing happens because of news uh, some strong news may have come on uh, at the industry i don't want to get into the news and other stuff but this looks like a pretty strong these things so when you look at chart look at these these aspects also this is again a gradual movement up and then gradual movement down Right again, it's falling with a steep volume, so which means that it doesn't have that uh, that kind of uh, uh, enthusiasm from bulls to take the stock higher, and the bears are generally getting in control. So such structure will definitely help you to understand that. Right uh, again, another structure uh, from from this election result day, it is going up. Try to breach that level, and somehow it is not coming, and it's a slow and painful. So what you can see is the lower high, lower low is getting formed. In such cases. In such cases, uh, you can be an early entrant. Uh, if you are early entrant, then you can, uh, first of all, you can you can uh, uh, g uh, get to this level because these are generally a level which it's likely to breach once you see such a strong movement up there and falling. So movement is down. And the second one is once this level is breached, then proper rounding bottom is formed and then you can further, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, basically uh, continue on your uh, this thing of research and uh, get in there right so uh, that's pretty much what i wanted to cover on rounding bottom and rounding bottom screener uh, quick, quick, uh, so rounding top and rounding bottom are just opposite one gets formed in uptrend one in downtrend u shape inverted u shape signal from bullish to bearish bearish to bullish and uh, support and resistance levels are there uh, easy thing it's easy to spot not very difficult once you understand the concept uh number 2 is uh, uh tools like us help you to find uh, find these screeners stop loss is identifiable risk management it's it has a good risk reward ratio you can use in on any time frame uh you can combine with other indicators uh, audience swing trading uh, short term traders long term traders or positional traders investors everybody can use this pattern uh so that's pretty much i wanted to cover on rounding bottom uh if you feel that you need to come to us uh to get any kind of support feel free to call on these numbers uh during business days monday to saturday uh if you feel uh, if if you if you need a one on one demo you can always request for one on one demo will uh, be happy to help you on that uh if you have a requirement which cannot be fulfilled with the current system you can write to us we will try to implement if we can uh and uh, you can call on these numbers if you want, are new to the system you can always look at uh, our videos which we have created uh, multilingual uh, or bilingual rather uh, english and hindi uh, so we'll be supporting these things uh, in both these languages as 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 far as we can uh, so very soon we'll be coming up so if you see the suite of patterns there are quite a few patterns out here uh, some of them are recently added like flag rounding bottom cup and handle uh, pennant uh likewise we'll be adding v pattern and we'll be enhancing reverse head and shoulder uh hopefully by next week uh and then we'll be creating those patterns again videos on that and then we'll go into a lot of harmonic patterns right so stay tuned if you feel that this is something which helps you uh so do do mention it to us so that we'll know that our hard work is getting uh uh is getting in use for some of you and it also help uh, also help to spread it because a lot of hard work goes in pattern these patterns are not easy to make they're extremely complex a lot of ai and ni is used to create these patterns uh, right so please spread it as much as you can so that when we have more audience it will help us to do more innovation more audience means uh, there'll be more revenue coming in which will help us to do more innovations will not stop yet here at harmonic patterns we may go into elliot waves and many more in the fibonacci world uh, which will be going in right so very soon we'll be coming with a very very interesting pattern uh, hopefully uh, next week and uh, till then goodbye see you very soon bye bye